Letters from the past and present me. Age four. The doctors told me that mom had a disease called stroke, so I wrote a letter to Mr. Stroke. Dear Mr. Stroke, you have overshadowed mommy. For three years now, she has been your prisoner. You have infested her cells with your poison, so now she stays trapped by you, no longer able to move with me, walk with me, or play with me. Tears become my breath when she coughs up blood in the middle of the night. My ears bleed at the ping pong, ping pong of the ambulance as it comes to take her away. Loneliness fills my pillow with tears, so please give it back to me. Thank you. Bye bye, Mr. Stroke. H7. I asked you to give her back to me, not to hand her over to another warden that will put her soul into chains forever. They told me the mom had gone to heaven, but I knew better. Mom was gone forever, so now here I am at the funeral. They warned me not to cry, so I guard my tears behind these glass doors. And I'm afraid they will crack, but I cannot speak a word. With steps like blocks, I pass my stoma. With each stride, little pieces of me wither, and I'm straining not to become ash, but it's hard to stand when you've lost your heart. Age 16. A letter to the past me. Little girl, I see you in a corner, struggling with a painful heart. Don't hide behind your tears. Let them out, for there'll be a time when they'll be too frozen to shed. Breathe, even if the wounds in your heart make it painful. Breathe, even if you feel like you're breaking. Breathe, for in time, these wounds will heal. I want you to know that you are strong. Stronger than you ever imagined. Know that everything will be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, then it's not the end. Love, your future.